Let's see how we can find the derivative of the absolute value of a function. Check this out. Let me remind you guys on the side when we take the derivative of absolute value of x. This right here is the same as absolute value of x over x. Keep that in mind. I have a video on this already, so check that out. So right here, we can just use the following right here, the blueprint. So we are going to just have this on the top, absolute value of x squared minus 5x plus 4. And then just don't forget to divide it by the bottom, which is x squared minus 5x plus 4. And of course, don't forget to use the chain rule. So we are going to multiply by the derivative in which is 2x minus 5. Alright, so this right here is the derivative and then we are done. And the reason I want to do this is because now we can find the critical numbers. So there are two cases that I would consider. The first case is where the derivative is equal to 0. So we set this equal to 0 and the only way is make this equal to 0. So we will have 2x minus 5 and then we make it equal to 0. And that will tell us x is equal to 5 over 2. And the reason I didn't say this is equal to 0 is because this is actually where the derivative does not exist. So so for the non-existent case, we will have to look at the bottom equal to 0, which is 4, and then this right here will make it equal to 0, and then we will get x minus 4 times x minus 1 equal to 0. That means x is equal to 4, and then x is equal to 1. So altogether, we have three critical numbers. This is where the derivative is equal to 0, and then this right here are the places that the derivative does not exist. So the picture is going to look something like... Yeah, so 1, 2, 3. There you go.